Hey everybody. My regular viewers know that I've been talking for a while now about doing some experiments with trying to mineralize my soft water. I want to use a few different types of substrate and see how they affect the water. And I'm not going to talk anything about the actual specifics yet because I haven't really even begun those uh, experiments. But I do want to talk about why I want to do those experiments and what my goals are here and what I'm trying to find out. Uh, this may be something that interests you, it may not. Now, when I first got into fish keeping, I knew I had soft water, but that was about as much as I knew about water chemistry and fish keeping and everything. And I didn't even understand that my soft water going through a softener, you know, water softening system would actually have further impact than simply soft water. Soft end water is a little more complicated even than just naturally soft water that you would get out of the ground. And I didn't know any of that. All I knew was that I had soft water and that certain types of fish, like African cichlids, for example, that was really popular uh, when I first started keeping fish. A lot of people kept African cichlids. And when I looked into that, I saw that they needed to be kept in hard water. And everybody said, it's really simple. You don't have to worry about it. All you gotta do is like make a, a substrate in your aquarium of some limestone or some, you know, have some limestone decorations and that'll make the water plenty hard enough for your fish and everything will be fine. And I was just reluctant to get into any kind of fish keeping that was gonna require me to address my water. If I couldn't simply put water in a tank and then keep fishing that or grow plants in that or whatever, I wasn't interested in it. My brackish tank is my only exception. And even that's been hit or miss over the years because again, I don't like messing with the water. I want to do a water change by taking some water out and putting some water back in. I don't want to have to make sure the water's all specifically made a certain way and so on and so forth. So early on in my fish keeping days, I decided not dealing with hard water fish. I'm going to stick strictly with soft water fish or fish that can deal with neutral uh, type conditions. I do have soft water, but I have a pH around 7.3. So neutral pH with no water hardness. Again, it's kind of odd water. And again, I didn't realize all the complications this would cause uh, as I got into fish keeping. So that's how my journey in fish keeping began. I never even thought about water hardness or at least, you know, hardening my water uh, for many, many years. Over time, I began to realize that water that is too soft is not good either. Even really soft water fish need some mineralization in their water. Uh, what stabilizes our pH is the mineralization in our water. It's the carbonates in our water that keep our pH stable. Without the carbonates, we have wild pH swings up and down through, you know, the, the, the changing of the amount of light that the plants are getting in your tank or whatever can swing the pH around if you don't have enough carbonate stability. Now, I have zero degrees carbonate hardness in most of my tanks, or maybe about two degrees carbonate hardness in most of my tanks. And yet I still have fairly stable pH. I've never really figured that one out. But as time has gone on, I've become more and more aware and conscious of the fact that my fish need some sort of mineralization in the water. We need um, electrolytes in our diet. Fish need electrolytes in their diet too. And they get those electrolytes in their water. You can't have water that's just pure water for fish. There's got to be some mineralization in there. Even if it's not hard water, there still has to be some calcium and some magnesium ions in there. Um, the fish need those trace minerals. And so what I really want to do is look for ways to put some of that in my tank without radically affecting my water hardness. I don't want I don't want my water to become a certain hardness after it's been in the tank for a while. Let's say the substrate is working on dissolving into the water and it brings my pH up to eight and my hardness up to 10 degrees hardness or something. If I do a big 50% water change and put soft acidic water or soft neutral water back in, that's going to be a big shift in the water chemistry in my tank when I do these large water changes. Right now, my tanks don't get affected. I can do huge water changes and the water chemistry really doesn't shift. The pH doesn't swing, the water hardness doesn't swing. The only thing that really drops is the dissolved organics like the nitrate and phosphates and stuff like that drop. But the hardness stays the same, the pH stays the same. None of that shifts even when I do these really massive water changes. So I'm afraid that if I put uh, additives in the tank or I put substrate in the tank or I put something you know that's going to augment my water over time the pH in the tank will come up and the hardness will come up and then I do this big water change and boom I slam it back down and then 
even after I've done that, how quickly does it come back up? Does it jump right back up over a day? Does it take a week to slowly come back up? I don't really know. And I don't know how these different things are gonna affect my water. And that's what I wanna find out. That's what I'm gonna be doing experiments on. I've got a few different types of substrates or, or materials I'll say that I use. I'm kinda saving a little bit of a secret here. I do have a, a secret weapon in my arsenal of how to mineralize my tanks. And I'm gonna be shooting a video specifically about that but I want to do a little bit of research about it, my own personal research. I want to see how fast this stuff dissolves in water. I want to see how much a pinch of it will make my hardness come up versus a spoonful of it. And, you know, just some of those kind of experiments just to see how much this, these different, you know, materials are affecting my water, how radically they affect it, not only how much they affect it, but how quickly they affect it. And I've only just begun tinkering with stuff like that. I got a couple glasses sitting in the other room with some stuff dissolving in them. I took a few early preliminary uh, TDS measurements and pH measurements. I'm going to go back later tonight and see if anything's changed. And once I get done with all of my um, rapid cycling experiments that I'm doing on this new sort of experimental tank I just set up, that's, what's, that's what I really want to do with this tank. I really want to experiment with dissolving minerals into the water and seeing how quickly different substrates will impact the pH or the water hardness or TDS or whatever because I want to know if I put some of this stuff in my tank what's going to happen when I do these big water changes and I don't want to do that in a living fish tank as my experimental grounds. I want to have a pretty good idea of what's going to happen if I put this much of this substrate in this much water I can expect a little, you know, I can expect a little bit of a pH climb or I can expect a little bit of shift in hardness but not too much. And that's really the long and short of what I'm going to be doing. Again, really informal stuff. I don't really set up control experiments and stuff like that. This isn't science. This is just me tinkering around with stuff and getting an idea of what's going on in my fish tanks. And so, again, if this is something that interests you, uh, I will be shooting video of all that stuff once I get over there uh, in the other room and start working on it or whatever. I'm just kind of giving you the heads up of what I got planned. I'm not really doing much in the way of the fish room tonight. So tonight is uh, this video. <laughs> so thanks for watching. Let me know what you think whether you're excited about this or not whether it's something you're interested in or whether you've had any of these same questions if you've got any specific questions of things you'd like to maybe uh, see me test or find out or can you try doing this or try doing that throw the you know throw the comments down there in the suggestions and I'll see what we can do about any of that so make sure you're subscribed and you won't miss any of the videos I got coming up or anything else you never know what it's going to be with me uh, I might be doing something a little different this summer I'm considering the idea of maybe summer tubbing I've never done that before but it's an option so again if you're subscribed you won't miss whatever might be coming up because you never know what it's going to be so thanks again for watching this one hope you enjoyed it i'll see you real soon in the next one